What's going on, everybody? Real quick mail day. This is all coming in before Christmas because I should have no more packages coming in unless it's something unexpected that somebody sent me as the good old uh, Christmas gift, which I don't think there is anything else coming in. I was debating on picking a couple boxes up later on tonight trying to get David Adams to push them so that we could have them here before Christmas and do like a Christmas Day opening video. I don't know. But... That was just something it was I might be a little bit too far fetched this time to do. Alright, four cards in this mill week. That's it. Four cards. Like I said, I've been switching gears. I'll talk more about it probably in the upcoming videos leading up to the new year. Alright. Up first is a one of one. And yes, Wildcat, I have two football cards for the end, which I think you'll like. This is uh Topps Archives Signature Series. Let me get the blur out. Don't worry, new camera will be here by Christmas, guys. Um, Orlando Sepita, 101. I, I forget where we priced these at. Somewhere between the $60, $80 mark, probably something like that. But this is something that's just going to go up on eBay auction, to be honest. What I get is what I get for it. I've been in for like 20% of what we found for a price onto it. And this is all stuff I picked up on the Zooms that I do. All right, up next. He's been doing very good this year. He is not the left one, not the right one, but dead center in the middle. I'm pretty sure. LaMelo Ball. Origins rookie. I think he's the middle brother. I could be wrong. But pick this up. It's still sealed by Panini. He's been pretty hot this year, and you guys can see, I got my, oh, I guess you couldn't see my standard standard um, blackout light. So this here, usually, like, I can look at it real quick on this stuff. I can say, okay, all four corners have a glow to it. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Let me see if you guys can see that. Probably not. It's going to be a little bit harder. Okay, it kind of lights it up right there for you guys. In the corners and the specs, see the whiteness down there. This is called, like... I need to really quickly check to see if something's got whiting on it. Boom. Done. The black lights. I'm telling you. Just don't go using them in a hotel room. I'm telling you right now, you will never stay in a hotel again. Even if it's a freaking... I know you always know they have like seven, eight-star hotels. Don't use the black, uh, black light, uh, blackout lights. I was going to say the black lights in there. All right. The other thing I like to use them for is this here. Because I've been finding people having a lot of slabs that are counterfeit in the area. All from Indiana, though. So you guys can see the top there above uh, the uh, the absolute has the hollow. And then the other piece, right around the PSA, you guys. I don't know if you guys could see it or not. You kind of got the infrared, I don't know, little holograms of PSA. So you got originally just a regular PSA there. Oh, there we go. When I light it up, I just got to do it real quick. You can see the little PSAs, three above, three below type deal. So that's just how I know slabs are real. I don't have to sit there and play around with it. Just the newer ones. Okay, to the card. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, 17 absolute Patrick Mahomes. Come on. Rookie roundup. So rookie year, PSA 9. I want to say this is like one, 160, 180, somewhere around there. But not it. You know, hey, people are going to start wanting Mahomes again when he starts going in the playoffs. This one here is a really, really cool card. And I think, Wildcat, you're going to enjoy this one. I'm going to try to slow roll it here without bumping the camera. Ready? Okay, I had to find where it was at there. 2007 Finest Calvin Johnson Refractor Red. Because there were blues. I didn't know this. PSA 10. This is a very hard card to find, very hard card to grade from back in the day as a 10. I think the only sale I could find on one was around 170 to 190-ish, somewhere in there. So pretty cool. This here will end up going to a show with me. This is not an eBay card. This is where you have to actually find it at home. Somebody out there is going to want the Megatron. And I want to say this is a very low pop report, too. And when we talk about low pop reports, you guys know with me, with the older stuff, that's pretty good. 
But then again, they didn't mass produce it, but we'll save that for another video too coming up. The old extreme rant and raves probably going to have to be a little overtime coming back again. All right, like I said, four little card mill day. Nothing super crazy, but definitely a cool Megatron, the Mahomes. I know a lot of people don't like basketball. They watch the channel. But LaMelo Ball, pretty cool piece. I'll probably hold on to that one. And then the Orlando Cepeda. That there is just more like, I sell this and... I'm trying to think how much I have in these. Mm. I'm just going to be gracious and say if this, if this sells, I, I might be able to pay pretty a good chunk of the other ones off about 80% worse, so not bad. All right, other than that, guys, appreciate us always watching the videos. Um, coming up this week, I'm going to do a little bit of rant and raving for the end of the year, I guess you could say. We're going to talk about Fanatics and, or I should say Fanatics and Tops and Panini. How they just keep producing more and more and more of the cards. And the difference between what they're doing now and what they're doing or what happened in the 80s and 90s. And kind of talk the price difference to where it's going to make a little bit of sense. And then I wanted to also do a video on the overhyped product that they call Panini Chronicles. Where <laughs> you're just pulling tons of the same rookie cards throughout the box. What I used to call... All the garbage products that they couldn't sell out or sell outright to distributors, and it would still sit in the shelves. But I think those will be two of the video ideas for the, this week that I'll end up working on. Probably tomorrow afternoon, or actually be today because of when I'm posting this video. All right, guys. If you guys ever want to see some other videos or any kind of ideas, just hearing me ranting and raving, as you always, just drop them in the comments. I'm always free to talk about sports card related stuff. I should say. Um, better not. I'm out. I gotta go price stuff here for eBay.